Hey everyone, I uh, just wanted to take a moment to give a couple resources. Uh, I know uh, a lot of people are always just looking for interesting uh, apologetic material or just helpful material. Uh, you might have uh, serious questions about your faith um, or a specific area. So I just want to give a couple resources I've enjoyed, I find helpful. Uh, this first one is called What's Your Worldview uh, by James Anderson. Uh, and this one is really neat. Uh, it's an interactive book. So you um, answer questions, uh, yes or no, and it sends you to what that would mean about your worldview. And then it gives you some implications for if that's true, how does that impact your life? You know, if there's, you know, um, multiple gods, how does that impact how we know what's right and wrong? Uh, if there is no God or if there is no truth, uh, if everything truly is relative, uh, you know, what bad effects start to happen uh, in your life? Um, if you believe the, if you say yes, the resur resurrection happened or no, it didn't. Uh, so he just does a really good job going through. So you answer all these questions, yes or no, and then that will send you to a big category of worldviews. And that would ultimately give you um, vastly different results um, like nihilism, that emptiness, meaninglessness, um, all of life is meaningless. Um, or uh, Christianity, ultimately. Uh, so I would encourage you to, um, if you have an afternoon, to, to get this book. It doesn't take long to read. Uh, you can answer the questions all, trying to get to all the different worldviews and try the different paths. Um, or you can just uh, answer it honestly, um, what you really think, and see where that leads you. Uh, so ultimately you can read every page by intentionally answering every question wrong and then that would force you back to slowly uh, getting to a christian worldview uh, that way uh, if you want to actually have the positive case of what is the christian worldview uh, why is this reasonable um, the truthfulness of the bible uh, dr anson does a good accessible job uh, going through uh, what the Christian worldview is, that God is there, he's not silent, he's with us, um, and showing how having a Christian worldview underlines our ability to have reason, morality, purpose, all those things. He does, does a good job um, working through a lot of those categories. Uh, and then, of course, uh, I gave these out for the graduates. I have several extra copies, the Surviving Religion 101, uh, it goes into a lot of topics you might have questions on with science and uh, uh, hell. Uh, what, what do we do about morality um, or homosexuality um, and hard parts of the Bible? And Dr. Anderson does these as letters to his daughter who has recently gone to college. And he does an excellent job touching on all these subjects. So I have these in my library. You're welcome to come in and get them. I also just have a lot of books. Uh, if there's an area of apologetics that you're just not uh, sure about, uh, you want to know uh, more about like other uh, cults um, or just like historical evidences, if you really like, just look at reasoned arguments for the resurrection or manuscripts and why trust the Bible, uh, looking at Darwinism or, or evolution. Um, every thought captive is really good presuppositional. So I just, I have a lot of those. I'm always willing to lend them out uh, and, you know, possibly get those back uh, once you're done reading, have a good discussion of it. Uh, but I hope you're doing well. Um, and remember as, as Christians, we're readers, we're people of the, the book, the Bible, but also that should drive us to be um, willing to investigate, to spend time to really understand why we believe what we believe. I'm always happy to um, help you uh, with that, point you to resources or just have those conversations. Uh, well, I hope these are a blessing to you. Um, God bless and see um, everyone in the coming Wednesdays and Sundays.